Well, good afternoon, sweetheart. How are you? I know I'm so sorry to wake you up, but your resident nurse is on break. So she's eating lunch. And so I'm here to do the rounds for now. My name is Nurse Kay, and I know we're doing a head to toe examination on you, all right? So I'm looking at your chart here, and I see you are here for some vestibular problems with your ear and your balance. So, so sorry to hear that. I'll be checking your ears and your eyes just to make sure that everything's all right with your cranial nerves. Um, but first, I need to get some information from you. Can I verify your first and last name and date of birth? All right. All right. Now, do you suffer from any allergies? No. Okay, a history of hypertension? Thyroid problems? Okay, blood disorders? Lung disorders. All right. And now on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain right now? Okay. Now is it constant? Is it throbbing? Or is it kind of pulsating? Okay. All right. So we might need to up your pain medication just for today. Um, any popping sounds in your ear, clicking sounds, is that still going on? No, that's good. Glad we took care of that. Um, grinding of the teeth. Have you been doing that? Okay. What about snoring? Any problems with your respiratory system? Okay. All right. And do you have any missing teeth? I know that's a strange question, but sometimes dental issues can contribute to problems with the ear. All right. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Any CT scans or MRIs? in the last year. Okay, we might need to order some for you. And aside from that, I'm gonna put on my gloves. We're gonna take your vitals and get started, okay? Do you have any questions? All right. just going to start by listening to your heart and your lungs so just breathe normally for me for now okay okay your heartbeat sounds normal and steady only hearing S1 and S2 so that's good okay I'm gonna listen on the bell side just keep breathing, hon. You're doing great. All right, good. Now I'm going to listen to your chest and then your lungs. So this time I want you to take a deep breath. All right. So in, two, three. And out, two, three. Good. Just like that. Good. All right. Really good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your lungs. Take that deep breath again. Good. Very nice. No concerns here. Are you a smoker? How oh, good for you. Okay. All right, very good. I'm gonna take your blood pressure next now. Do you have an arm preference? I'll go ahead and use this arm, okay. Now make sure your legs are uncrossed. They are. Okay. Okay. All right. So your blood pressure is a little high. It's 130 over 90. Definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. All right. Now, sweetheart, do you consume a lot of salty foods? You do? All right, that might be the reason. 
Now, and this is just between me and you. I think that you need to go on a low sodium diet. All right, to avoid things like taking statins later in life or blood pressure medication. You don't want to be taking that, all kinds of side effects. Yeah, if you just lower your salt intake, you could do it wonders for your health. Okay? All right. Other than that, you are perfect right now. 98.1 uh, temperature, so that's very good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and be palpating your head. I just need to check for any unusual lumps or bumps or signs of a concussion. Okay, so you just relax, just don't do anything. Just feeling right here behind the mastoid bone. And your lips in the back of your ears. Everything seems normal. I'm not I'm not feeling any palpable lumps or growths, so that's good. Okay. Any pain when I press there? Very good. Just keep relaxing. No need to worry. You can close your eyes too if you want. Drift off to sleep. Okay. So I'm going to check your hair next. Now we haven't had a lice outbreak since the 1980s, so I don't think there's anything to be worried about, but we have to check and make sure just to keep any kind of outbreak uh, contained. So um, just gonna be combing through your, your hair, okay. Does that tickle? I see you smiling there. All right, now if you notice, our comfort animal has arrived. She was kind of yipping at the door, so I had to let her in. Are you afraid of dogs? All right, she's just gonna give you some love, that's it. So if she doesn't bite, nothing like that. Is that okay? All right, good, I'm gonna continue. Just to be feeling your hair. Okay. Now, I don't see any lice or dander flakes. Your hair looks very good. Your hairline is very healthy, I can see, so that's nothing to be worried about. All right, so just stay still. Very good. Okay. that jaw area is sensitive, but I'm gonna ask you to open your mouth. Okay, go ahead and close it. Now, I didn't feel any clicking or popping. What did that, was that painful for you? Okay, so just on that left side. Okay. All right, I do feel a bit of tenderness right here in front of the ear. Now, if this isn't your pre-regular lymph node here that's uh, palpable, it's just a general swelliness, so. That's good to know. Now, I'm feeling your sinus cavities. Okay. They all feel very normal to me. Okay, why don't you go ahead and widen your eyes for me. And now, this isn't just me being silly. I need to check and make sure your facial muscles are intact. So, widen your eyes. Okay, good. Now, could you frown your eyebrows? Very good. All right, I'm gonna place my finger right here and try to lift your eyebrows. I'm gonna put some tension against that. Three, two, one. Good, let's do it again. Three, two, one. Very good. All right, I'm gonna place my hand right here. Try to turn your head to your left, okay? Three, two, one. Good, all right, the other side. Three, two, one. All right, I'm placing my fingers right here on your chin. Try to look up at the ceiling for me. Very good, now try to touch your chin to your chest. All right, very good, you're a nice uh, sturdy patient, so that's very good, okay. Now I'm gonna be testing the sensations of your face as well. Now do you mind if I sit down here right next to you? 
Okay, very good. Thank you very much. All right, now this is a very standard procedure for a cranial nerve exam. I don't know if you ever had a sharp and dull test before. Okay, so this is going to feel, you feel that kind of brushing? That's a dull sensation, and it's going to be sharp. Do you feel the difference? All right, go ahead and close your eyes. No peeking, and let me know which one you feel, sharp or dull. Good. All right, love, and what side of your face did you feel that on? Very good. What about that? Right or left? Good. Okay. Sharp or dull? Okay. And which side of your face? Good. Yes. Okay, and what about right here? And where was that? That was in your nose. Okay, so next we're going to do warm or cold. This is going to be a cold sensation. Do you feel that? Do you feel kind of cold? Good. All right, and this is going to be warm. So say which one you feel. Keep those eyes closed. Okay. Perfect. And which side of your face did you feel that warm sensation? Mm-hmm. Which side of your face did you feel that warm sensation? Good. All right, very good. Now, just because I did see some swelling on that left side, I'm gonna take some measurements. Just see your face, okay? So just hold still. Okay, that's three and a quarter inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Okay. And the other side is significantly less. That's only two and a half. Okay. I'll have to turn this into your regular nurse and she can go ahead and compare to see if it's gotten better or worse from where it was before. Measuring your nose to your ear. Four inches. Measuring your forehead now. You got a broad forehead. Holy smokes. Okay, that's a that's a five inch forehead. And I thought mine was big. Okay. Two and a quarter with the width. And just measuring the size of your head here. Okay, that's two. That's two of your nose. Your nostrils are symmetric, which is what we want to see. Okay, now, so far everything's pretty good. I'll be checking your eyes and your ears now, okay? All right, so just hold still. Let me come a little closer. Just looking at your pupils. They are round and reactive to light. No abnormal dilation. Excellent, gonna be looking at the other one. Okay. Any issues on that right eye? It's just a little red. Not so much that I'm worried about an infection, but we might bring you some eye drops then. Let me see again here. Now go ahead and look up at the ceiling for me. Just need to see that area underneath the pupil. Okay. 
So that might be a side effect of your pain medication. It can cause dry eyes, dry mouth. Now, have you been thirsty? Okay, well, we're going to get you hydrated here pretty soon. So, okay. All right, now I'll be testing your range of motion. So you're going to see this light here. Do you see it? Okay, go ahead and follow that light. Okay, and ignore my fingers. This is a game of focus. Very good. Ignore my fingers. Follow the light. And now don't move your head. Keep your head straight. Just follow with your eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Just like that. See, I know you could do it. You're just doing so good today, aren't you? Very good. Okay. Now, which fingers are am I moving? Uh, your, the ones on your left or your right side? Right. Good. Left. Mm -hmm. That's both. I'm going to bring my fingers into your field of vision. Let me know when you see these blue fingers, okay? So just say now or when or whatever you want to say. Good. That's right. Good. Very good. I'm pleased with that. Now, this right here is called a Snellen chart, okay? I'm going to ask you to read some letters for me. Can you read this row right here starting with a D? Mm-hmm. Do you wear glasses or contacts? Okay. When's the last time you had an eye exam? Because you missed this one right here. You said A and it was a B. Mm-hmm. So, go ahead and can you read this one just a little bit below? Okay. Now, you're just getting your B's and your A's mixed up today, aren't you? So, I think it's time to schedule an eye exam. Okay, can you read this last row? I'm bringing it closer. Okay. No, that was a P, not an F. Okay. So, I think that you're experiencing some nearsightedness and that your vision isn't quite 2020. Very easy to fix. Okay, we're going to give you a referral for that. Now, what color is this as you see it? Is it red? No, you think it's orange? I'm sorry, survey says it's red. So you might be having some color blindness as well. What about this? Green, very good. Okay, and what circle here is bigger than number eight or number five? Good. Number two or number three? Mm hmm. Okay. So, you got some problems with your eyes. Now, since you haven't been to an optometrist in quite a while, I don't think it's related to your ear injury. I just think it's time to go ahead and get checked. Okay, but we'll keep tabs on that. I'm gonna go ahead and look at your ears now. Now, do you mind, I'm gonna put my hair up because it is kind of getting in the way. And I wanna just keep things as sanitary as possible. Okay. Thank you, I'm gonna change my gloves too to make sure that you don't get contaminated. All right. Now I'm gonna get a little up close and personal, just looking at your ears. So if you could turn your head this way, just need to look and see your tympanic membrane. That's a nice pearl gray. Do you clean your ears? I can tell. Most of the patients I see have lots of wax in the ears. You don't have any. You Well, your ears just, they're squeaky clean like the top of the Chrysler building. Excellent. I don't see any scarring or scratching either. Do you have good hearing? Very good. Now, why don't you go ahead and turn the other way? Okay. Not seeing anything to be worried about here either. And, again, squeaky clean. I have to commend you on that. Okay. Very good. 
good. Very good. So now I'll be testing to see how much they work. I'm going to be whispering some things in your ear. Just repeat exactly what you hear after me. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. Thanksgiving. Hanukkah. Jingle Bell Rock. Be going to that ear now. Happy times. Eating and drinking. I'm not really southern. Okay. Very, very good. Now I'm going to be seeing, just to make sure that you're coordinating your, with your left and your right ear in terms of your reception to sound, I'm going to be making a rustling sound on either side of your ear, so let me know if you hear it on your left or your right side. Okay, say left or right. Good. 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 Yes. Very good. I'm going to be doing a couple exercises with a couple different tuning forks. This one is to judge your tonal reception, so you're going to hear a high pitched tone. You hear that? Okay, so I'll be making that noise. Let me know when it stops and close your eyes. Okay? Say it stopped or stopped or Merry Christmas or whatever you want to say. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to bring two sounds close to your ear and tell me which is louder, position one or position two. This is going to be one. This is two. Good. This is one. This is two. Excellent. This is one. This is two. There was one. Good. Okay. So, this tuning fork kind of judges the vibrations that you sense in your ear and also just in your resonance chambers and your skull. So I'm going to be making a vibrating sound. It's going to be a deeper kind of tone. We are placing it right on your, ch on your chin. Do you feel that? Isn't that funny? So, so you feel that vibration. Do you feel that equally on both sides? Okay. I'll be making that vibration just on certain crucial points of the face. And let me know if or when the sound stops. Close your eyes. That's right. Okay, that's excellent. Now, have you had a smell or taste test before? Okay. This one I usually don't do on patients, but since your area of pain and of work is in the cranial nerve area, I do need to make sure that it's not impacting your ability to taste and smell. So. Go ahead and open your mouth. I'm going to give you something to taste. Just say sweet, sour. It was sour. That's right. Okay, one more. That was sweet. Good job. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple things to smell. Keep those eyes closed. Go ahead and smell this. Now you don't have to get it exactly right kind of herbal. It's lavender, so very good. Okay, one more. This one should be pretty clear. That cinnamon. Yes. You are knocking these out of the park. Okay, so I'm going to be just percussing along your chest. Okay. Good. Just feeling for any sounds that might indicate that there's some fluid buildup going on. Okay. 
Okay, you're good. I need paint there when I did that. Okay. Very good. I'm gonna be pressing lightly on your chest. Any pain there? Pain there? Pain there? Okay, very good. Now, I'm gonna be doing a very brief abdominal exam. Just palpating your stomach and feeling the organs there to make sure everything's ship shape. Okay, any questions? I know. So I think that your antibiotics have been working, right? Because I know you still feel pain in that ear, but what I saw is a crystal clear, healthy ear. If you want me to double check, I can do that. Okay. All right, as long as the pain is improved and you should be fine. But I have seen lots of sick ears in my time and what I just saw was very promising. So I think you're on the mend. Don't worry, okay? All right, so. I'm going to just start by listening. Okay. You don't need to breathe deeply right now. Just getting a gauge of your stomach acidity and fluid buildup. Okay. I do... I do hear a little bit of gurgling, but I suspect that it might be due to your intake of salt. Yes. So I think my theory is right. I think going low salt is the way to go for you. Do you get stomach cramps? All right. You ever get achy muscles, like in your shoulder and arms? Because that can be indicative too much salt as well. Mm -hmm. So if you take any iodine supplements, just stop them for now. Mm -hmm. Don't salt your food. You salt your food, I can tell. Don't do that. Okay? Other than that, sounds normal. Nothing to worry about too much. Okay, I'm gonna be palpating, just feeling your organs. Okay. Gotta get a little deeper to feel your liver. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay, that's normal. Plane's normal. I feel your diaphragm. I'm going to be feeling your lymph nodes right in your hips area. So I'm going to be going a little bit closer to the groin. Okay, just don't want to startle you. I'm not pulling anything uh, untoward, as they say. Just feeling it right down here. And it feels normal, non palpable. Just a few more here. It's funny. Okay. Okay. Feels normal. Gonna be doing some percussions here. Any pain? No. Okay. Let me do a quick sensations test. Okay. Now. It's going to be dull or cold. So there's going to be a dull sensation. This is going to be cold, so it should be very easy. Okay, do you feel both? Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good job. Okay. All right. Good. Just keep breathing deeply. Hun, you just need to relax. There is nothing to be worried about here. Just breathe deeply, relax. Yes, that was cold. You're doing great. Okay.
Okay. All right, very good. Oh, stop making jokes like that. You're gonna make me laugh. You're gonna make me lose my job. Okay. Now, I'm gonna be feeling, hey, cut that out, okay? I am not, I'm not gonna respond to that. Hilarious though. Okay, I'm gonna be feeling right here on your thighs, okay? Good. No edema that I can see. Okay. I'll take a couple measurements just to be sure. Where did I place my measuring tape? Right here. Okay. Whoops. Okay. That's five inches and five to mirror. So that is that is symmetric. I'm gonna be looking at your feet now. Now, after seeing all that sass, you better not have stinky feet. Okay? Or else I'm gonna leave this room right now. All right. So, let's go ahead and do a sharp and dull test, checking your propensity response, and that's about it. Now, which of your feet am I squeezing? Your left or your right? Good. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you feel the pressure equally on both sides? Both feet? Good, all right, I'm gonna judge your capillary refill. Two seconds, so your circulation is within the normal range, all the way to the pinky toe, all the little piggies, okay? So next, we're gonna do sharp and dull tests on your feet. Now, uh, interesting trivia fact, and you can check this, is that the heel is the least sensitive part of the body. It is. So if you can get all these tests right on your heel, you are a very sensitive individual. Good. Good. Did that tickle? So sorry. Mm-hmm, good, very good. Okay, I'm gonna judge your Babinski response, so just making sure your feet react in the correct reflexology. That's perfect, okay. Any foot pain? Any numbness around the ankles or feet? Okay. All right, well, thank you for being such a trooper. I am a very thorough nurse. Thank you for being so accommodating as I did the exam. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and let your resident nurse know about your high blood pressure, your um, color deficiency, and some of your eye issues, as well as the ear swelling around the ear canal and down on the jaw, but the inside of the ear looked perfectly healthy, so I think that's the most exciting part of it. We're gonna get you some eye drops, we're gonna bring you some water, and hopefully get you feeling as good as we can until you are ready to be discharged, okay? All right, do you have any questions? Okay. Oh. All right, well, I shouldn't be doing this, but my number is 555, 55. Five, four, okay? All right, now I'm not making any promises, okay? I am single, but I have lots of options, so. And you look like you don't have a lot of abilities right now. <sighs> I'm being a stinker, okay? We'll go ahead and see, okay? But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and skedaddle. So have a good day, okay? Bye.